Okay, we are done with the back panel. And the last row here will be the V-stitch row. Hello there, Rose here. Welcome to our tutorial on our channel. So we're going to be making this beautiful, cozy uh, Ruana with pockets. And uh, you will find it an easy pattern to make. Now this is the second time I'm making the design. The first time I used a medium six yarn weight, and uh, which is heavier than iron. This time around I'm going to be using iron weight yarn, Circle Low Hobby. Now you want to, uh, you may have questions about customization, please uh, uh, visit the blog to read about the customization and how you can tailor it to fit your preference and also what yarn you might want to use. So I'm also going to be using a six millimeter hook to customize. You can make it wider, you can make it taller. So please refer to the notes on the blog. All right. As I said, six millimeter hook and our yarn. So I'm going to pull this yarn from the center here. Now this pattern, in this pattern, I'm going to be showing you a demo, okay, of the back panel. Because this pattern is worked from the back. We make the back panel first and we go on to make the uh, right front panel and the left front panel. So I'll be showing you a demo of the uh, stitch repetition, which is pretty easy. So after the demo, you make the back panel and then we head on to make the two uh, front panels together. So I'm going to chain 25. In the original design, the starting chain is 109. So uh, if you want to customize it, you will add six extra chains. So I'm going to skip one to the first two chains and I'll do a double crochet into the third chain from the hook and double crochet into the next chain and each chain across the row. Once that is done, we're going to turn and uh, chain two. Now in this pattern, this chain two counts as a row. What that means is when we come back after we work row two, when we come back to work row three, this will be the last stitch and we we're going we're gonna to make a stitch into it. So chain two, uh, double crochet into the next chain because this is also, this is already on here. So we'll work in there. So double crochet into the next chain. And each of uh, the chains across the row. And we have one last stitch here, double crochet. We are not counting this chain two that we skipped at the beginning. We're not counting it as a stitch, not on the first row. Okay, only from the second row and uh, beyond. Okay, turn, chain two. We're gonna repeat one more row of double crochet stitches. So double crochet in the next stitch and uh, each stitch across the row. And double crochet into the top of chain two. Remember the chain two that we made from row two? We're gonna make our last stitch on row three in there. Into the top of chain two, you have chain one, chain two. So into that place, because sometimes it's easy to overlook this um, chain two. And uh, when you come back to work the row, you see that your rows are on even. So please take note of the chain twos at the end of the rows. Okay, uh, we're done with three rows of um, double crochet. Turn, chain two. Now we're going to work our V stitches. This is one stitch already, so chain two. So we skip the next stitch. Into the third stitch, we'll make our double crochet V stitch. So make a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. We'll repeat again, skip one, two stitches into the third stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So that's our double crochet V stitch. Skip one, two in the third, 
double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're going to repeat this across the row till we have two stitches left. So we have two stitches left. So what we're going to do here, skip the next stitch and in the last stitch we're going to make double crochet, the last stitch. Be just the same as the beginning. Because in the beginning we have our one stitch here, we have our one stitch here, we have this one stitch that we skipped right here, we have one stitch that we skipped right here. And in between these V stitches we have uh, two skipped stitches each but at the very ends at the beginning and at the end of the v-stitch we have just one stitch skipped here and one stitch skipped here okay uh that's row three turn chain two now we're going to make double crochet stitches into all the v-stitches now in this pattern chain one counts as a stitch chain one between the v-stitches i mean so yeah chain two that's our first double crochet into the next stitch here double uh, crochet into the chain one space there double crochet into the next stitch double crochet so into each of these v stitches we're going to make double crochet stitches and into the top of chain two we'll make our last um, double crochet stitch And double crochet in the last uh, stitch all right turn chain one two double crochet into each of in the next stitch and each stitch across the row and after that we'll be one more row of double crochet stitch so that means we need three rows of double crochet stitches Okay, three rows of double crochet stitches. Okay, I have one last stitch here, which is that chain two. So I'm going to work into it. All right, three rows, one, two, three of double crochet stitches. Turn, chain, one, two. Counts as our first stitch. Skip first stitch and next stitch. In the third stitch, um, we'll make our double crochet V stitch. Skip one, two double crochet V stitch, double crochet chain one, double crochet, skip two stitches and V stitch. Repeat this across the row. Okay, two stitches left and into the last, the top of chain two, double crochet. All right, so in essence, this is all we're repeating, these four rows of stitches. This is the sequence. Three rows of double crochets, one row of V-stitch. Repeat it as many times as you want. In the customization notes, uh, it explains, uh, you know, what you need to do if you want it to be taller and if you want it to be wider. So please, uh, you can check that out as well. All right, I will see you at the end of, um, you, you, you repeat this, these four rows as many times as the person calls for and I'll see you at the end of the uh, last row on the back panel. Okay, we are done with the back panel and the last row here will be the V-stitch row. After that is done, we're going to mark for the left front panel and the right front panel. So, you want to mark the V-stitches because the number of V-stitches you have here will be the same number of V-stitches you have on the other side. And in the center there will be three uh, V-stitches. Now this is the right side of the V-stitch. Okay. And uh, we're going to, now we're going to turn and start with the right front panel. chain two and we're going to make double crochet stitches as usual because it's a repetition of what we have 
on the body. We're going to uh, do a, a double crochet stitches up to this point here, okay? Not this marked V stitch, all right? Up to this one right here, the next uh, V stitch. So if we turn it, it will be on this one, on the second V stitch here of the next V stitch, all right? So in this double crochet stitch, that is where we're going to end this row. So, um, so after you mark it, you take note of that. And you know that you will have this chain one in the center. So chain two and make double crochet stitches across the row. Okay, here we are. Now I'm going to make one last V stitch into this v, uh, double crochet of this next V stitch here. All right? Okay, see that? This is where we marked. Okay, and this is the next stitch, the, the next DC of the next uh, V stitch. That's where we're going to end the row. So turn. chain two which counts as a double crochet and uh, make another row of double crochet stitches so at the end of the row turn chain two make one more row of double crochet stitches and then we'll do another V stitch row together so that's the sequence you see that we'll repeat the sequence now double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, and then V-stitch. So double crochet across now. At the end of the row, turn, chain two, make one more row of um, double crochet stitches. Do not forget that this uh, chain two here is a stitch. So you should walk into that as well. All right, so we are at the last stitch, which is that chain two. So we're gonna make our last stitch in the chain two. Okay, so we have a one, two, three rows of double crochet stitches. Now we're gonna start, we're gonna make the V stitch in. It's the same as we've been doing. So uh, chain two, this counts as one stitch, all right? So we'll skip the next stitch and in the third stitch, we'll do a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch. So one, two, skipped. And skip two stitches and uh, V stitch in the next. One way you know whether you're doing the V stitches in the right place is it will align with the one down here. If it doesn't align, if it feels like it's on the side, it's slanted like this, you know that it's the wrong uh, place that you're working the V stitches into. So uh, skip two stitches, V stitch in the next. Repeat this across the row, and uh, we have two stitches left. Skip one stitch and double crochet into the last stitch. And double crochet, skip this next stitch and double crochet into the top of chain two. All right, so from now on to the number of rows you need please refer to the written pattern we will be repeating the sequence okay of uh, chain two of three rows of double crochet stitches and one row of uh, the stitch so you repeat the sequence the sets yeah and uh, at the end of the row we will come and make the left front panel to Together. So repeat the sets. Three rows of double crochet stitches and one row of uh, V stitches. All right, now we're done with the right front panel. Now, how to know the number of rows to make for the right front panel? You either check out the written pattern for that or you use the number of um, the number of V stitches, V stitch rows that you have on the body 
to make uh, make the same number of v stitch rows on this so here not counting from this v stitch but counting from this next v stitch all the way down we have 16 v stitch rows so i have replicated that here 16 v stitch rows as well and uh, the row ends with uh, three the three double crochet uh rows and that's the uh end of the right front panel now we're going to make the left front panel uh, so i'm turning it so that you can see this is the right side of the v-stitch okay and remember that we marked this we we we, we wanted one two three v-stitches in the center and the right front panel uh connects with uh the last um the third v-stitch here okay into that double crochet stitch okay so now even though we marked here all right we want to start our next i want to start the next uh row in this next v stitch here in the the the, the first uh, stitch of this v stitch okay so we're going to start here so i'm going to turn join and uh, join join the yarn chain two this chain two counts as a stitch and I am going to uh, make the double crochet into the uh, next stitch here which is marked and into the chain one of the V stitch and double crochet into the next stitch as well we're going to do double crochet across uh, the row And we're going to end the row with a uh, double crochet in the top of chain two right there. Turn and chain two. Chain two. Double crochet into the next stitch because our chain two counts as uh, our first double crochet on the row. And repeat another row of double crochet stitches. So, uh, excuse me, when we complete this row of double crochet stitches, don't forget to work into the top of chain two here because chain two counts as a stitch, as one double crochet. Then turn again, chain two, make one more row of double crochet stitches. So that means we need uh, three rows of double crochet stitches here, you know, just uh, replicating what we have on the right front panel. Okay, um, the third row of double crochet stitches. I'm going to finish the last double crochet in the top of chain two. Turn, chain two, skip the first, skip the second stitch, and then the third, we'll do our V stitches. Skip two stitches, V stitch in. The next stitch skip to V stitch into the next stitch so you want to repeat this across the row and we're going to do a double crochet into the top of chain two skip the next stitch and uh, double crochet the end of uh, the vestige row turn and chain two okay so the next couple of rows double crochet into the next the next couple of rows is um, a repeat of what we've been doing so far three rows of double crochet stitches one row of vestige all the way down you want to use the number of rows you have on the right front panel to uh, gauge how many number of rows you make here as well and uh, I will see you at the end of uh, the row for the left front panel then we will uh, make the edging together we'll smooth out these uh, rough edges so go ahead and repeat the set three rows of double crochet, one row of V stitches. All right, here we are at the end of uh, the left front 
panel okay we've completed the rows now what we want to do is to um, just to trim the sides from the front all the way to the back when we finish that we'll snip the yarn and we will repeat the same thing for this side but we'll start at the back uh, panel this time we'll trim all the way from here all the way down to the front okay so once you complete the uh, the second side the left front panel we want to go automatically to the side do not snip yarn we'll continue from the last row on the left front panel okay, now you want to chain one two three and uh, skip this row here this last row in the next row we'll go into that stitch row and make a V stitch chain one double crochet into that uh, row okay skip this next row and in the next row which is a V stitch row we will make a V stitch double crochet chain one double crochet okay skip the next row and in the middle row next row V stitch chain one double crochet skip the next stitch in next V stitch row so this is what we want to repeat across uh, the row all right so skip the next stitch row V stitch double crochet V stitch in the next row repeat that all the way to uh, the back panel here we're going to complete this last row together and uh, we have the last um, set of three DC rows so skip this in the next one we're going to do the V stitch and I'll make a double crochet into the last uh, stitch uh, so I'm, we're going to make the double um, double crochet into the bottom of this stitch here where this same stitch is coming out from we're going to make the double crochet in there so these are the chains the starting chains at the bottom okay okay it's gaping I don't quite like that so um, I'm going to do double crochet into the next all right much better snip the yarn we'll weave all these tails in okay we're going to do for the for the right front panel so you want to start from the back from the back panel because this is the right side of our work so you want that to show okay uh, so we have our stitches here so into the bottom right here this is the chain two that we skipped this is our working chain the chains we began with our foundation chain and uh, we skipped two chains at the beginning so into that um, the the bottom of the chain two space I'm gonna go in there and chain one two three chain three into the next uh, stitch row we'll make the V stitch chain one double crochet and skip the next stitch row in the next V stitch row make another V stitch skip the next stitch row in the next V stitch okay we're going to do this repeat this all the way to uh, the bottom of the front panel all right and uh, we'll make the last stitch in here the top of the chain two here Which 
it is a double crochet snip yarn now we're going to trim the front all right now we're uh, going to trim this it's the same thing we did for the sides all right so uh, if you notice my yarn is still attached to the bottom here I did not um, did not snip it off after we completed the the right front panel so if you snipped your uh, your yarn what you want to do you want to start from this last stitch you want to start from the last stitch here you want to chain three okay from this last stitch you want to chain three so because I'm still connected I'm going to just continue from here I'm going to chain one two three and skip this first stitch row in the next I'm going to make a uh, V stitch. I will skip the next and then V stitch into the next stitch row. So we want to continue this across. Skip next stitch, V stitch, and next. Skip V stitch. Yeah, repeat this all the way to uh, the neckline. Here we will have um, one. We'll have one row left. Okay, here we are at the back panel. So um, we have one. This is the very first row that begins the right front panel. All right. So we're going to skip this row and into this stitch, this same stitch where the um, where this last stitch is on the right front panel. We're going to start uh, making double crochet in there. Okay, this very stitch here, right in there. So we're skipping this entire row and we're working into the V stitches at the back. So. We'll work double crochet into each of uh, the stitches. So we have three stitches now. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Okay. So on the back panel here, we're going to have nine stitches nine stitches it's the same for every for whether you're customizing or you know it's the same so you have nine double crochet stitches at the back panel from this um v stitch here where the last where the right front panel uh ends and this v stitch here where the left front panel starts okay so we will continue to the f uh to this other side we're going to skip this entire row the first row of the left front panel and we're going to make our V stitch in the next stitch in next stitch row I mean okay skip one row V stitch in the next skip one row V stitch into the next row so uh, I'm going to repeat this across repeat this across and uh, at the end here okay repeat this across at the end we're going to make a double crochet into the top of this uh, stitch right here and we're going to end the row with uh, a double crochet into the last stitch there the, the very bottom
All right. So we're going to snip the yarn. Now we'll make the pockets, two pockets. So for the pocket, we're going to start with a chain of 25. I've made done one already and sewed it on. So start with a chain of 25 and uh, skip the first two uh, chains, double crochet into the um, next chain and into each of the chains across the row. At the end of the row, chain, I mean turn and chain two. We're going to make another row of double crochet stitches. So skip the first into the next double crochet. Double crochet into each of the stitches across the row. When you, at the end of the row, turn chain two again and make another row of uh, double crochet stitches. So that means we're going to repeat to row two. When this is row two now, at the end of row two, chain a uh, turn chain two, repeat uh, row two again. So we have three rows of uh, double crochet stitches. So I'll, I'll see you at the end of um, row two. Also, yeah, I'll see you at the end of row um, at the end of row three. All right. So after the last double crochet in the last stitch, turn, chain two, and uh, this row is the V stitch row. Skip first, skip second stitch, and in the third, we'll make a V stitch. So we're going to repeat this across the row. Skip two stitches, V stitch into the next stitch. So this pocket is done, uh, I mean it's a repeat of uh, how we've been working the back panel. So you want to do this until we have uh, uh, 19, 19 rows and then you sew it to the body. So it's a repeat of the stitch sequence, three rows of double crochet, one row of this stitch. We're going to do it for... so. So we have 19 rows of stitches and then sew it to the body. Alright, it's time to sew the uh, pocket. Uh, so you want to make sure it is centralized and uh, well, depending on the length of your runner, if you made it longer than this, then you want to shift it up uh, a bit, okay? You want to shift it up, yeah, but because this is um, 59 rows, we're going to start, we're going to just leave this bottom, this first uh, repeat row and we sew up. So centralize it and then you sew from the corner all the way down here. Alright, once you're done you're going to have, uh, this is going to look like this, alright? So, uh, well the button is just an extra features it's totally optional you know and uh, you wanna when you want to close it up you just pass it through one of those uh, V stitches okay so when you sew the button sew it sew it on the middle uh, double crochet row so you have we have three double crochet rows here sew it in the middle double crochet row and uh, you close it up so this is it please ensure to block uh, this Ruana, I mean, the difference is always clear after you block your crocheted items, especially the wearable ones and the blankets. So block it and uh, you'll thank me for it later. <laughs> All right, I'm so glad you joined me. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, God bless you. Bye.